Yeah, it's a long cut. It really is. 65 moves. But uh, depending on where you are in karate, it takes, it takes your breath away. Uh, uh, typically in uh, Shotokan karate, for those of you who don't know, uh, we train on, on hardwood surfaces. Uh, this is a little soft for us. Uh, some people can train on concrete. And of course, in all martial arts, you have to be prepared to train and defend yourself regardless of the terrain and the ground. So what we're going to be doing now is some applications based upon the two kata that you saw. The first applications that we'll be doing will be based upon the side die, which was the first kata we did. So, uh, come on, take. Uh, everything we do in uh, Shotokan Karate begins with a bow and ends with a bow. This is uh, a form of partner training, so it's not as though the person you're training with is your enemy. They are your partner. Now this is from Beside Dai, and we're going to be doing this two times, one very slow and then one regular speed. And this is a rising forearm block with a short punch. Begin. Now that uh, that is a move that is within the kata beside dot. Number two, correct, Randy. Number two is also from beside die, and this is uh, entitled inside hook block, and it'll be done. Uh, uh, stomach or chewed on level with a front punch, uh, a front punch with the same arm, utilizing the same arm. Continue. And here's at speed. Surprise, surprise. This is from also from beside eye, and uh, Randy Fields, uh, Sensei Fields will be will be defending with this one. And this is uh, an upper level forearm block, stepping in with a back fist strike. Slowly. This is the very first technique that was done in beside eye, as you saw in that first kata. These are uh, the next series of techniques you will see are what is known as instant counter techniques. Instant being, of course, right away. And this is from beside die. And it'll be a U block punch from an upper level attack. Slowly. You can see that uh, in the kata uh, beside die, Actually, there were three of these techniques used, and this is the first two, and it's done from both sides. So when you, you uh, in the Shotokan Karate, uh, what you do is you utilize both sides of your body so that you maintain your balance. So this will be done with speed. This is, uh, these are some advanced techniques from the second kata that we did, Konkuda. And the first one, which will be defended by, by uh, Sensei Fields, is a pressing block and a four finger uh, spear hand done at the chudon or stomach level. Slowly. You can see the initial uh, uh, block is a pressing block and then the spear hand. Speak. Ah! It's nice to have a good partner, isn't it? If you didn't have a partner, it would be uh, somebody would be in trouble. Uh, this one is uh, a rising block with open hand, knife hand strike, followed by stepping in, front snap kick, slowly. And now with speed. The next application from Kankudai is called a sweeping palm or open hand with an upper level palm heel strike 
or a lower level Pond Hill strike. It could be either one, depending. The situation dictates what you do. Slowly. And now with speed. <laughs> this is, uh, uh, since uh, distancing is very important in Shotokan karate and all martial arts, uh, sometimes you are at a, a great distance from your opponent. Uh, next time you might be at a very short distance. So uh, instead of just using your, your fists or your open hands, you might have to use, use your elbows or your knees. So this is where this comes in. This is a sweeping palm, open hand block, elbow strike. <coughs> Stepping in. Very slow. Wispy. Hey! Thank you very much. Okay, again, they'll be at uh, station.